Insider Reader. Science Fair Day, written by Lynn Plord, illustrated by Thor Wickstrom, read by Tide Eye Reader Christie. Science Fair Day. It was Science Fair Day. Everyone in Mrs. Shepherd's class was loaded down with posters and potions, gizmos and gadgets, chemicals and contraptions. All the students were eager, excited, and anxious, especially... I'm a kind of nosy. I'm a like to know anything and everything going on around her. She always asked plenty of questions, and the perfect day to ask questions was Science Fair Day. Did you make it? How's it work? What's this switch do? Ima asked Josephina. Whoosh! Swoop! Buzz! My, my, said Mrs. Shepherd. How inventive, Josephina. This should be quite the science fair. Everyone joined the morning meeting circle. Well, almost everyone. Mrs. Shepherd looked around and asked, Where's Ima? From a corner of the classroom, she heard some questions, which answered her own question. Why is it so big? How's it stay together? What's this bone connected to? Creak, groan, crash! My, my, said Mrs. Shepherd. How ambitious, Dewey. This really should be quite the squeak, squawk, talk. Just then, the intercom interrupted her. Attention, please. This is Principal Helm speaking. As you all know, today is Science Fair Day. I shall be coming around to your classrooms to judge your projects. Please make certain they're all perfectly perfect. Mrs. Shepherd nodded and said, It does seem that some of your projects could use a few finishing touches. Everyone got to work on their projects. Everyone, that is. Except I'm a kind of nosy. She was too busy investigating Drew's project. Is that what one really looks like? What's it made of? Can it think? Drew said, I forgot about making it until this morning. It isn't dry yet, so don't get too close. But it was already too late. Sticky, icky, goo! My, my, said Mrs. Shepherd. How memorable, Drew. This definitely should be quite the rap-tap smack. Someone was at the door. Yoo-hoo! Time to sneak a peek of all your perfectly perfect projects. Good morning, Principal Helm, said Mrs. Shepherd. Our class isn't quite ready yet. Hmm, said the principal. That could be a problem. It will throw my schedule off by thirteen and a half minutes. But I guess I'll just have to come back later. Good idea, said Mrs. Shepherd. When you return, there'll be much more to see. Everyone got back to work on their projects. Even Ima headed toward hers until she spied the most interesting project she'd seen so far. Is it about food, or is it about colors? Or maybe it's about nature? Ima interrogated Maybella. Yes, 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 answered Maybella. I couldn't decide which to do, so I did every one. And they all work together? asked Ima. Splat, splash, hiss. My, my, said Mrs. Shepherd. Such a medley, Maybella. This definitely should be rap tat smack Someone was at the door again. Yoo-hoo, I'm back, said Principal Helm. Ready or not, here I... Go, asked Mrs. Shepherd. Why don't you go to the next room for a few more minutes? Things aren't quite perfect here yet. When Principal Helm left, Mrs. Shepherd shook her head. My, my, class, time's running out. Everyone, and you really must get your projects ready. Let's check on yours, said Mrs. Shepherd, as she led Ima over to her desk. But when Ima pulled the cloth off, Mrs. Shepherd looked confused. I don't understand. 
All you have are papers for your project? Yup, said Ima. I just couldn't stop thinking of questions and taking notes. I wrote everything down, all 999 pages of them. My, my, said Mrs. Shepherd. That's so inquisitive, Ima. This definitely will be rap tap smack. I won't go. I won't take no for an answer. Not this time, explained Principal Helm. Er, um, come right in, Mrs. Shepherd said. We've been waiting for you. You'll see we have quite the science fair to show you. Why don't you start over in this corner? Ima will give you the tour. Ima and the principal began looking at all the projects. Ima not only took notes, but she asked some perfectly perfect questions. What makes the lava flow? How did that plant grow? Why does that sun glow? How does the hamster know? My, my, Mrs. Shepherd, you're right. This really is quite the perfectly perfect science fair said Principal Helm as she handed out ribbon after ribbon after ribbon. At last, everyone packed up their posters and potions, gizmos and gadgets, chemicals and contraptions, and headed home. But as Ima began to pick up her papers, Mrs. Shepherd said, I'm sorry you didn't get a ribbon, Ima, but you do have something that no one else does. What's that? asked Ima. You have a nose for news. Central Tribune. Science Fair is a wild time for all. Amazing projects. By I'm a Kinda Nosy Reporter. Tide Reader.